fewest turnovers likely to win this game. Certainly, Wisconsin has had the edge in this rivalry over the last 10 games, winning eight of the last 10. Wisconsin won the toss and deferred to the second half. So fair catch called for by Gavin Williams, and we'll get our first look. And first play of the game, no surprise, not going anywhere. Tackle made right away by James Thompson. That's going to be a loss of two. On second and 12, nowhere to go for Gavin Williams. He is absolutely swallowed up with coverage disguises and a lot of activity. Petrus set to throw for the first time. He's pressured and he is down. Blitzing into the backfield and making plays. Three straight TFLs. The Aussie Torrey Taylor to punt. Fair catch called for by Ingram. Here is Allen, nowhere to go for Allen Logan Lee, first man there. Ball tip, good defense. Riley Moss, one of the best corners in the entire nation. Seeing the strengths of both of these teams early, two outstanding defenses. Mertz set to throw on third and eight. To force the fourth down. How about Wisconsin and five wides on third down there? Andy Vunovic. Punt lands at the 25 and rolling down to about the 12-yard line. And him have been much maligned this year. Petras actually booed in pregame warm-ups before the season opener, so they must feel like they've kind of started behind the eight ball. He gets his first completion. The big zero and gets the catch, and that'll start things off a little better than the last drive for sure. Keeping it on the ground, and Johnson would score 27 points in 10 straight games to 10 points last week. Third and four here. First down, Iowa. And now we have some running room for Iowa. This is Gavin Williams to the 45. First down from the 45. Petrus looking to the right side. Again, has a completion. Another first down for the Hawkeyes. Keeping it on the ground. Through the air and has to get rid of it. Petrus. Incomplete. Was looking for Brody Brett. Third and ten. Pressure coming. Ball's on the ground. Wisconsin recovers. Next in line in this great linebacking tradition for Wisconsin. The ninth sack of the season for Herbig. Great field position for the Badgers here. So being able to get off the field with a turnover like that and give your offense some field position is huge in this game where possessions will be at a minimum many feel. Quick throw, right side. Flags down. All start, offense, 78, five yard penalty, third down. Iowa bringing pressure on Mertz, has to get rid of it, has a man. First down, Wisconsin. The 11th catch of the season for DK of 10 yards or more. A prototype Mike Backer at a place like this. Pass over the middle to Skyler Bell on second and 10. Seth Benson there on the stop. It could only be for a couple veterans like these guys, two seniors. Third and one, looks like Braylon Allen does pick up the first down. Wisconsin on the 19-yard line. Allen operating out of the eye formation, and look at that. Noah Shannon hits him. Second and 11. Mertz has time. 
but nobody open. As Coach Ferentz knows, they're sound on every level. One, two, three. It's really hard to get by all three of them because of their fundamentals. There's Isaac Garendo checking into the game at tailback. He goes right up the middle. Gavin Myers set to hold. Snap from Peter Bowden is good. As this Iowa offense tries to get things going, and they're going to have to wait at least a moment as flags are flying. Looks like a false start. False start, offense, 56. Five-yard penalty, first out. Yeah. Empty set for Petrus. Little high. Nice job going up to make that catch in terms of conference record will be tied with Illinois. Illinois will hold the tiebreaker, so they'll need a little more help. That one's complete to Deontay Vines, his third catch of the game. For the Hawkeyes, after a couple of throws, to try to get back into a manageable position here in this series. Looking to the right side. And that is Sam Laporta, Sean Williams checking into the game at running back for the Hawkeyes. And Williams is absolutely swallowed up by Rodas Johnson. That's going to be a loss of three. Second and 15, down goes Petrus. Again, pressure coming on third and 20. Nowhere to go for Gavin Williams. Another stand from this Wisconsin D, and they're starting to take control of this game in a very slow, methodical way. Punt hauled in by Dean Ingram. And Ingram, and around the 40-yard line, is finally corralled. Traditionally, that's the thought. <laughs> and here is the sophomore, Quinn Schulte. Back at Wisconsin, this was his sixth season as the defensive coordinator, and certainly the front runner to take over the head coaching job full time. And that one, third and nine from the 41. Four-man rush for Iowa. Pressure coming, and Mertz doesn't have a choice. Vunovic punting to Cooper to Gene. And D.G. catches it at the 20, makes a move, out past the 25. A stiff arm gets him to the 33. Starting to come down here in Iowa City. Caleb Johnson has some running room, out past the 40-yard line. And now we have a first down and force them to give the ball back to Wisconsin. Can they stack positive plays without giving up the negative? Johnson. And we have a flag down as he crosses midfield. Yeah, I think they're going to get Bo Stevens for reaching out and grabbing there. A pretty blatant hold, but it was right Hold's in the tackle offense. box. Offense, 70. 10 yard penalty, spot of the foul. First down. Petrus going to throw, four-man rush coming from Wisconsin. Herbig already with two sacks in the game, giving him 10 on the year. And the defense again, <laughs> just nowhere to go. Again, going to keep it on the ground with Williams, and he was met in the backfield. They were able to get a kickoff, but this one's going to be tight in that way, it feels like. The head coaching opportunity is one that he's already always wanted, certainly not in this type of situation. And that one over the head of Keontes Lewis. These are places that adhere to their history and style. And that was Garendo. Hertz came into the game completing 60% of his passes, just three of nine thus far. Four straight incompletions, taking a shot downfield. And there was nobody there. Vunovic's punt to Cooper DeGean, and no, it's blocked. Iowa picks it up. Can't go backwards here. 
Pressure coming up. Petrus gets it off. And there's the guy who has always been his security blanket, Sam Laporta, picking up 13. Hawkeyes on the move. Caleb Johnson, touchdown, Iowa. Rolling into the end zone behind that old line, and now the Hawkeyes have momentum at home. Hit me Ooh. right away. And that was just off the mark. Steps up in the pocket. Never really had a chance at it. Moss does not leave a lot of room. He's right on top of people. And this time we have a chance to see a return here from Cooper DG. Iowa keeping it on the ground again with Johnson. To stack some positive plays. Second and six from the 44-man rush coming from Wisconsin. Four-man rush gets to him. They showed blitz for a moment, only brought four, still able to get to Petrit. And Jim Leonard's group gets off the field. Great stand. Taylor again, who's done such a nice job punting this season as this one sails. Permanent head coaching position whenever they decide to make that announcement. Here's Mertz, plenty of time. And a completion. Wisconsin has had three and outs and four or five drives today. Not this time as Allen can't go anywhere. DeGene tied for third on the team with 50 tackles coming into this one. Allen cuts it back up inside, Jack Campbell. So he's had over 1,000 yards as a freshman and a sophomore, just the fifth Badger back to do so. Third and four here. And that is complete to Skylar Bell. First down, ball's down. Bell in motion. Allen. And they just string out that run. Jack Campbell hops on. He'll get credit for the tackle. Hurts throwing on second down. And just off the mark again. Wants to dump it off to Allen, but he has been off target. Third and ten for the Badgers. Mertz to the left side into triple coverage. Kind of got rolled up on there. And the backup is Chase Wolf. DeGene going to let that bounce into the end zone. Our game last week, just 19 yards on the ground for Iowa. And here's Caleb here. Does have some room. And that's when that's where we are right now. Your goal is to out tough the other guy. You got you got to do it. And on third and one, first down from the 29. With Sean Williams checking in at running back, replacing Bo Stevens. Second and five for Iowa. Petrus pressured. Gavin Williams in the backfield now for the Hawkeyes. Three-man rush, and they're still able to get to him. It's Herbig again. They've tried that in the past to no avail. And both of these teams, I think the mentality is we're going to do what we do best. This is Ingram. On the return, they'll block in the back. Wisconsin, 10-yard penalty. Special linebackers in this one. Keeping it on the ground with Garendo. Garendo remains in the game at running back for the Badgers. Mertz to throw. Mertz picked off! And that's a pick six. Cooper DeGene, nobody there to stop him. Tough defense you're up against, though, if you're the Badgers. 
Here's Allen cutting to the outside. And then back inside. Look who's on the tackle. Let's see if Wisconsin can get going with some tempo. Here's Mertz going to keep it himself. Picks up the first down and then out of bounds. Just under 90 seconds to go. Pressure coming and down he goes. That's Deontay Craig who blocked the putt. Garendo gets the ball out of the pistol. There's a nice crease for him down to about the 42 yard line. Dijin takes him down. Down goes Mertz. Just over a minute to go here in the half. Pressure coming right up the middle. But we have flags down. That was Seth Benson. All start offense. 71, five yard penalty, second down. Second and 23. Quick pass to the outside, DK. Pressure again coming up the middle. Mertz has a man open. Lewis, touchdown Badgers, a 51 yard score. Third and long, no one's had a chance on third and long this whole afternoon. As well, see if you can get a chunk play to start and see if it gets you going. Or you hand it off. Gavin Williams in it running back for Iowa on second and ten. He gets the carry. And to start the second half, and Wisconsin will be getting the ball first after deferring in the first. And this one hauled in at the eight yard line by Garendo. Coming off a hundred yard game last week. They get this one out quickly to Bell. Here's Allen. Here's Allen again. Eight yards and eight yards to start this drive in the second half. Here's Allen again. Flags flying everywhere. That clipping. Yeah. Offense, Offense number 79. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Repeat second down. Mertz. Picked off, tipped, and picked. Riley Moss, if that holds, gets his first interception of the year. They didn't really throw at him that time. <laughs> Throwing at Merriweather. Caleb Johnson wrapped up right away. Isaiah Mullins, the first one there. That's going to be a loss of one. Second down, bringing the pressure, gets rid of it complete. So third and five now for Spencer Petrus in this Hawkeyes offense. Pressure coming off the edge. Petrus steps up. Regaini making the catch. Going to be shy of the first down. Taylor with a low little worm burner there that's going to bounce inside the 20. Playing today, Kinnick Stadium. Ball's down. And to keep it on the ground with Allen. Third and 17 now. Merch just dumps it off to Garendo. Vunovic on to punt for the Badgers. And ball is rolling down to the 27 yard line, trying to keep it going. And Petrus going to the air. That one was knocked down in the game at running back. And he gets the ball on second and 10, going nowhere. Jong Meta. Pressure coming from Wisconsin. And they get to Petrus right away. You could see that coming. That was an impressive, impressive defensive effort. And Latu, I believe, is going to be the man getting the credit for the sack. Yeah, really creative safety. Kamoi Latu. And he's the one that just puts out that right arm on the thigh and hip of Petrus. 
I think he snatched his towel off, too, and threw it into the sky. Now you can see the frustration there from Petrus. Taylor's punt nearly blocked again. Ingram calls for the fair catch inside the four. And look at that good blitz pickup by Allen. And, and again, Mertz kind of floating one out there off the mark. Mertz just misses Bell across the field. Here's Allen trying to run into the teeth of that Iowa defense. Can he find the edge? For Phil Parker. Third and four. Time for Mertz. Not really stepping into these throws either. D. Jean fields the punt at the 12. Eludes one tackle, cuts it back up inside and out past the 25 to the 28-yard line. So Iowa back on offense with Caleb Johnson in the backfield. The youngster gets the handoff, and look at that swarm of Badgers. Three sacks for Herbig, a career high. And Petrus trying to roll out, never really got his feet set, didn't have a receiver open either. Iowa on top by four, looking at third and ten, with 77 total yards of offense so far. And they set up a little screen pass there, and... Sam Laporta taken down by Jordan Turner. First down, Iowa. Petrus throwing behind the intended receiver. Number 84, the tight end, not much. Keeping it on the ground here with the freshman. Third and one. Pressure! Six sacks for Wisconsin. And the six sacks, a new season high for the Badgers. Ball bounces. Can they get it before it goes into the end zone? Looks like they do. Gene's been the MVP of this game. He's been fantastic. He's been in every play. Pick six. Just a sophomore trying to get a little room here. Force a punt here and try to get a short field. Maybe some confidence for your offense if you're Iowa. Well, here's Allen. And look at the speed on that Iowa defense. There's just no... So many good DBs coming out of Iowa. And again, Wisconsin keeping it on the ground. It's Garendo. And it's third and five. It's going to be... Garendo. Trying to find the outside is loss of two on the play for Wisconsin. Four-man rush. Here's Carendo. It was DeGene again coming in a little bit. From the 13. Mertz behind. Does they block the punt already? Lunovic run into a bit there. He, here's DeGean. Around the left side. Down to the 20-yard line. All he does is make plays. Cooper DeGean. How about this field position inside the 20? You saw what happened the last time the Hawkeyes started here. They get close. Petrus zips it in there. Laporta picks up the first down. Trophy is on the line, and the Hawkeyes are threatening. First and goal, keeping it on the ground with the freshman and the leading tackler. So good for them, just one touchdown catch on the season. Keeping it on the ground with Johnson, trying to spin his way in, and he does. Did they mark him down? And wraps him up along with a couple of others trying to sneak in his Petrus. Let's wait for the signal. There it is. Spencer Petrus sneaks in for the touchdown. And it's a big one. From Cooper DeGene. 
been quite a turnaround coming into this game with back to back wins over Northwestern and Purdue. And currently with a 11 point lead ball on the ground picked up by Garendo and then just mashed at the 18 yard line. Kind of lucky they got that off the bounce play. But neither of them have really gotten it going. Mertz sails over the head of Skyler Bell. Yeah. The sophomore Allen nowhere to go. Jack Campbell among those wrapping him up. Third down situation where you see the conversion rate this game. Third and long. Mertz delivers the strike. To end the half. Wisconsin finding a way to stay on the field here and Mertz standing in there taking a beat and making a throw. Allen again met right at the line of scrimmage. Just job with this defense. Second and eight now. More man rush and Mertz has nowhere to go. Said Jack Campbell. DeGene's been great in this game. Castro. Have a flag. You know, you don't see this Iowa defense blitz very often, but when they do, it's generally a passing situation on third down. They. Here's Mertz. Corralled in the backfield. Deontay Craig block punt earlier. Logan Lee in there as well. We do have a flag down. Holding offense number 78. The penalties declined. It brings up fourth down. Second. Another punt. See what Cooper DeGene can do with this one. But they have an 11 point lead and the ball again. Jong Meta making sure Caleb Johnson only gains one yard on that play. And yeah, he is a storied athletic star in Iowa. Basketball, baseball, track, and football. Quarterback DB out against this Iowa run regardless. Petrus rolling to his left. Trying to turn. Much better field position. Great songwriters. Damn. Don't get Petro started on music. Mertz to the right side. Takes a minute to get there, but of course played his high school ball at the Taft School in Connecticut. And here's Allen met right away and there was just nowhere to go. First man there was Ethan Kinnick and it's a five yard loss on first down after a good throw play. Here's Allen hauling it in trying to get to the 50 and Campbell knocks him out of bounds at around the fourth that out here. Third and 11. And Garendo hauls it in, wrapped up right away by Campbell. And kind of in no man's land at the 47. Pressure coming. And there was just no shot. Caleb Johnson in it running back for Iowa. He'll get the carry. Tough run and picks up six. Jordan Turner on the stop. Second and five and shooting in. Third and four here for Iowa. Big hit taken, but able to hold on to the ball is Luke Lachey. Williams. Despite the fact they haven't really been able to establish the run this game. Williams again carrying tacklers with him. LaShawn Williams. And 
doesn't look like Williams is going to get it. Benton was right there to grab him by the ankles behind the line of scrimmage. Well, they got Cooper to Gene. <laughs> and that one complete to Sam Laporta. Able to really run the ball, but they've still been able to play their style of football to control this game. This is the third fourth down conversion of the year for Iowa. Keeping it on the ground here with Johnson Herbig on the stop. Second down with huge population to draw from. So a lot of times they're swimming upstream. On second and eight. Keeping it on the ground, Jordan Turner on the stop for Wisconsin. Along with a couple of turnovers, they take control of this ball game. And on third and eight, they're content to give it to John Week. 12 of 14 on the season. Clean snap, hold, and the kick is up and good to do it twice here to pull something out in these chilly, windy, flurry-like conditions. Matt Kinnick and Garendo out to the 25-yard line. Take a week off. There's Mertz, complete. Lewis, not a whole lot going on there. Schulte holds him to a three-yard gain. You know, as successful as they've been in November, they have not had great success against the Badgers. Wisconsin's won eight of the last ten. And it's been a long time since I was beating them here on their home turf. They get to Mertz, balls on the ground. Joe Evans gets a hand on it, and Iowa recovers. That is likely game, set, match. Joe Evans with the speed on the edge, and Logan Lee, who was hurt last week, falls on the fumble. Here he is, taking an outside route against Jack Nelson. And just clipping that ball, looks like with the crown of his head. Out of the hand of Mertz. Three turnovers on the day for Wisconsin. Surprised and Iowa look. doesn't have like a giant piece of corn or something, you know, like a turnover <laughs> husk. <laughs> you can make a, a chain out of corn husks. Yeah, it doesn't seem like uh, Ference's style. Probably not. <laughs> would be or his number three in total defense, number five in scoring defense. Keeping it on the ground, just running the clock out. They had been all that. Only since 2004. Ooh. Big hit on LaShawn Williams. And the clock keeps rolling as Iowa will reclaim the Heartland Trophy. Here in their home stadium, winning three in a row for the first time this season. And who would have thought, after that 54 to 10 loss to Ohio State, that not only are they going to be bowl eligible, are they going to recapture the Heartland Trophy, but they are very much in the mix for the Big Ten West Division crown.